Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a huge, huge, huge <laughs> Ulta haul. Um, let me, I, I, I don't even know how to even start this. It's, it's a lot. Um, there are a lot of reasons why I placed a whole bunch of orders. They were, I had a 20% off coupon. I think I had 20% off coupon twice. Um, one day they were doing like 10 times the points on particular brands and there was some stuff from, you know, that category that I wanted. Um, then there was some free gifts with purchase and all kinds of stuff. And so I went a little overboard, I think, but I got a lot of good stuff. I got some not so good stuff and without further ado, let's get started. All right, first of all, let me get started with this one thing so I can get this huge thing out of the way. I did um, order perfume, and this is the Philosophy Love Swept Spray Fragrance, and it is an eau de toilette. My daughter had purchased this, and it smelled really, really good, and so I decided I wanted to get it. But since ordering it and getting it, I have... Um, sampled it a few times at the store and then my daughter's and I am going to take this back and exchange it for the regular Amazing Grace. Um, this one is just a little bit, I don't know what's in it, um, what it is, but it kind of gives me a little bit of a headache. So it smells really good on my daughter though. So um, gosh, and I'm looking at my little horn sticking up right here. It's my hair. <laughs> Curls do what they want to do. Anyway, um, so I'm going to exchange this and um, they were doing the promo where if you order perfume then you got a free um, weekender bag and this is the bag that I got. Um, when I ordered it they didn't let me choose a color so they just automatically sent this gray taupe looking color. I'm not that crazy about it. I, I really wanted the burgundy one but that's okay because I am going to give this to my daughter anyway. Um, when she ordered her perfume, she actually wanted this color, so she has one of these, and I'm going to give her this one so that um, she has two of them to use, so, and her husband has to go for um, training classes here pretty soon, and I think those are coming handy for him, and those look really manly, so um, they're going to take those two, or take that one. I'm going to give it to him. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, um, I did order some soaps. These were on clearance. This is the Ulta Sugared Vanilla Foaming Hand Soap. Um, they were doing, these were $3 each. I had ordered three, but one of them in the bag or in the box, whatever, completely leaked out. So some of the products I'm gonna show you, I don't have the outer packaging for because um, one of these little guys just completely destroyed the packaging all the the product itself was was fine but anyway so i did get some of those so i would recommend not ordering any of these kind of things from ulta because they don't really do a very good job of securing it to where they don't leak out like they just put a little piece of tape on there i mean that's it to keep it from pumping out anyway so anyway. Okay, so then there was one day Ulta was doing a 50% off sale on some of the Bare Mineral palettes, and so I partake of that. And I don't have the outer packaging on these because I threw them away. I've, some of this stuff I've had for a little bit and I've been using. So this one is the Nudes, and <laughs> that made the funniest noise. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> Anyway, um, the news, and this one has um, like a cardboard outer packaging. Oh man, and I just got, I just jabbed my thumb into my lipstick. Oh, my stars. Hey, but look, I remember to bring wipes. So I have something to wipe my swatches off on. Anyway, this is what it looks like. And I, I mean, Bare Minerals for me has been a staple in my beauty wardrobe for years and years and years. At one time I had all kinds of their little loose pigments wore forever and ever. 
got rid of all of them because, you know, I started branching out to other stuff and just kind of forgot about the bare minerals in general. And I wanted to try this. I mean, this is definitely will create a very nice soft look. Definitely um, work appropriate, age appropriate for us. And um, it was really pretty. Um, I don't think I would have paid full price for it. So I'm glad I got it at a discount. But it is pretty. Now they do have, I don't know what they're called, but there's six colors in a palette. They almost look like the... Um, the little Visi, Visi art Chromo, is that what they're called? Theory palettes. The little Theory palettes from Visi art. That's what these Bare Minerals ones look like. And if I can remember, I'll try to pop a picture of them up in here. Does anybody have any of those? Have you used them? Have you heard anything about them? I'm kind of curious about those. Maybe might be getting some of those. And then this one here, and this one is the Sensuals. Now this one, the packaging is different. It is like hard plastic. Get that little. And it has a brush with it. The other one didn't come with a brush. This one has a little brush. And then this one is definitely a cool tone. So kind of colors right at my alley. Um, I don't know if I've ever said this before. I think I have in a video where at one time I never ever wore anything but um, purples ever. No grays, no browns greens anything it was always just purple <laughs> but um yeah so i thought that kind of brought me back to the days of um simple simple makeup collections simple things to choose from simple eye looks but anyway i thought that was really pretty so i got that and then the free gift that they were doing with bare minerals was this little guy here a little beautiful little pink makeup case that is so cute that color and in it was a sample pack of the bare minerals bare pro concealer which all those colors are way too dark for me to try a little deluxe size sample of their mascara the lash domination prime time um primer i don't like this because it's it's a silicone primer i don't like those and then two of the little loose um powders that i was talking about and let me find amongst all this mess i have eye color in bahamas and then the color the original mineral veil is what that is so a little setting powder so it might be kind of nice to go back down memory lane and try the little loose pigments from bare minerals haven't used any in a while since i got rid of all of mine which i'm kind of regretting but anyway and then i have this little kit this is one of the things that the outer packaging got destroyed from that look at that soap leaking but this was a um an Ulta Beauty um, curl sampler pack for, what was this, like $10. And there's quite a bit of stuff in here that's all for curls. But um, to try, let's see if we can get this open. So the first product in that little kit is Earth Nature Honey Curls. I was kind of interested in that. I've been really enjoying honey products here lately. And I'm thinking about doing a video about all of my favorite honey inspired or honey treatment type products for my skin. Oh, that smells good. I don't really smell honey. It smells very fruity. Hmm. And then there's a product from Weedad, which is my favorite brand of all time for my hair, for my curls. And this is the Advanced Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel. And this is a little, it's too heavy for my curls, but I thought maybe on some days, because we have been getting a lot of rain here in Oklahoma, which is good, we need the rain, but it's been very humid, and I thought maybe I can mix a little bit in with my normal um, Weed Ad styling gel and maybe kind of tone this down a little bit, but amp up the other one a little bit, see what I'm saying? So I thought this little sample size 
Next is the design, design Essentials Almond and Avocado Curl Enhancing Mousse. So again, another product to give a try. From the Diva Curl line, this is the Leave-In Decadence, which is a leave-in conditioner. So this is gonna be good for winter coming up. And then the little two packs that were on the side, one is um, Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil, Balm to Oil Pre-Shampoo Mask. Oh, that's gonna be fun to try. And that feels thick in there, like really thick. And then this one is Curl Smith Curl Defining Styling Souffle. And this is a new product. So, got some new curl stuff to try. We'll see if my um, curls will cooperate with the new stuff. I don't know. Okay. Um, okay. So, then I ordered um, some products from ColourPop. And this is the highlighting palette that I ordered. It's called Got Me Beaming Present Pressed Powder Highlighter. And this was an online order because our Ulta here doesn't carry um, ColourPop in store. And fortunately, I'm, I'm opening it very ginger, gingerly because this one right here is broke. It came in broke, but I'm not going to worry about sending it back. I think because these are so soft anyway that I could probably just put a little alcohol on my fingers and press it down and it will be good to go. But I have this color here as my highlight today, which is Please Do is the color that that's called. So if you are wondering what's on my um, cheekbones, there's a highlight. I mean, they're really pretty highlighters. Um, these two colors right here are obviously going to be too dark for me as a highlight. I gotta, I gotta switch this around. Um, but as a lid color, it's gonna be really pretty. Or even as a blush topper, it's gonna be really pretty. Ah, there that one goes. So let me swatch that. As you can see, hopefully you can see that. And how pretty that is. I mean, they're pretty highlights and everything. They're a little chalky. Um, if I was to go back and, and have the opportunity to redo that order, I, I wouldn't do the, the highlight one, that one. I'm, it's okay, um, but I, I would pass on it. But the next two things that I got from ColourPop, I wouldn't pass on. And that is these two palettes here. One is Fortune and one is Fame. Fame and Fortune. Um, this is my first ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. I know they've had them out for a while. I think these are two of the newest ones. I think um, Fame is the first time that they've come out with a cool toned eyeshadow palette, but been wanting to try them. I had a 20% off coupon and so yeah, why not? And I used Fame to create the eye look that I have. And unfortunately on this one, one of this color here kind of come came a little crumbly, but it's okay. I just kind of pressed it down in there, but I used this on the lid as my um, bright or shiny color. And then I have this color in the crease and then this color in the crease also just to kind of give it a little bit of depth. And I just think it turned out really, really pretty. So that is um, Fame. And then Fortune looks like this here and this is fortune again just really really pretty and i may have this backwards this may be the cool tone and the fame may be the regular one Let's Let's i didn't have any morphe blushes and so i'm the type of person if i'm wearing if i use a morphe eyeshadow palette on my eyes i want a morphe blush to go on my cheeks same way with Lorac, Urban Decay, whatever the case may be. Whatever brand I put on my eyes, that's what I wanted to be on my, my cheeks also. So I got this one. And this one is called the 8C Cool Pro on that one. 
and looks like this here and you get all kinds of different blushes I was just going to order was I going to order this one that had I think I had three in it and then I seen this one for it was just a little bit more and you got you know eight so and the color that I have on is this one right here which is called it girl as my blush so give it a try and it's very very pigmented a little bit on that one you wouldn't think with that color the way it is that it would be that pigmented but it is I mean it just takes a little bit and definitely with this one uh, that one you would definitely would have to use a, a dual fiber brush on that one Whew. Naked palette. The original Naked palette is being discontinued. So just about every retailer that carries the Naked Urban Decay had it on sale at half off. So I did order it because I didn't have it. I've been meaning to get it. So I have the original Naked palette now and that's what it looks like. I haven't used it yet, but and then I seen where they're coming out with a new one called the Naked Cherry. Oh, did y'all see that one? It's got some really pretty colors in it. So I have that. Another product that I got from um, Morphe was a um, highlighter. I think that during that order, the Morphe was 10 times the points is why. I went ahead and did some Morphe orders. And this is in the color Spark. This is one of the minis that they came out on the website with. And that looks like that there. And just from swatching it, it looks like it's easier to work with and not as chalky as the ColourPop one that I have. Ooh, we're going to have to hurry, hurry. Also for Morphe, um, I got the setting spray. This is the continuous setting spray. I wanted to give it a try. <clears throat> and um, I, after I use it for a little bit, I'm gonna let my daughter use it because she was wanting to try it too. But it's like an aerosol pump. So it just um, continuously sprays. And I do like the fine mist of this because you don't have to worry about it um, getting you know squirt shots onto your face. So. And it works pretty good, I, um, but I'm thinking, and it could just be me and my skin right now, but I'm thinking it might be a little bit drying, but I'm going to use it a few more times and maybe, I don't know. It could be a little drying, <laughs> I don't know. but I do like the spray of it. And then from uh, Makeup Revolution, I wanted to try some of these. And this is the um, Flawless Foils um, eyeshadows. And I got the color Overcome and Retreat. And I've seen these in the store, but there wasn't any way to swatch them or anything. But anyway, they come with this little um, stuff that you can use to um, prime your eyelids and then put this product on the top. I thought that it was a powder, but it's a cream. And this is the color I wore the other day, which is Retreat. And um, I did not put it over the little primer. I just put it over my normal primer and it it didn't last it's really pretty though but by the end of the day the only thing i had left was just a lot of um glitter on the eye so i think i would i'm going to try it with this little thing here but um i was kind of disappointed because i really thought it was a, a powder eyeshadow not a cream I might as well swatch this one. Um, this one's Overcome because I'm not going to, I'm not going to send them back. There's Overcome. That one is really dark brown. <laughs> so that one doesn't have any glitters in it though. The Overcome doesn't. So that one might work out pretty good for me. 
the other one, the, the greenish gold one. I was a little disappointed in that, but anyway, it is what it is. Okay, I think what we're going to do now is go through my samples and the freebies that I got with all this stuff. And it's a lot. It's a lot of freebies, I'm telling you. Um, Ulta puts Sephora to shame when it comes to doing their, their free stuff. And so the first one here is a freebie that they were doing. It was some kind of men's stuff that you got. But gosh, some of this stuff is like really good size samples. Like there's a shampoo, a Squire shampoo, a Hugo Cologne fragrance mist, Fat Boy hair putty. Polo, Ralph Lauren, Polo, Odo Perfume. I mean, look how big that is. I mean, that is substantial size sample there. It's not just a little, little bitty one like, like that. I mean, it was a big, big one. Here's a pretty decent size. This is the American Crew Fiber Cream, which most of the stuff is probably going to go to my son-in-law, but, or my son, even if he wants any of it. Oh, the Clinique for Men Charcoal Face Wash. I'm going to put that in the bathroom for my husband. And then there's the Beer Lubed Conditioning Shave by Jack Black. So that was a freebie. And then this was a freebie. This one you spent $35 and you got this little guy for free online. And it has a sheet mask in it from Leaders, the Brightening Recovery Mask. Um, some dry bar on the rock shampoo and conditioner sample. Strivectin sample for the decollete. A derma blend um, primer sample. A $5 off coupon for Ulta products. Perfume um, by, oh, this is a cologne, I think, because it's you. No, well, it's a perfume. It's a little sample spray. Then there was a lip product from Bare Minerals, which is the Gin Nude um, little lip. It's in here somewhere. I used it the other day. Sexy Hair Hot. Sexy Hair Protect Me. What is this? This is... Oh, for um, if you're using heating tools on your hair. I'll give that to my daughter. So I don't use heat on my hair. There is a Benefit Bad Gal Dang. Bang. Bang. What is this? Oh, it's a mascara. A mascara sample. I don't know what it was. Here's a really good size hand cream by Rituals. Perfume sample from Victor and Roth, and this is the Bon Bon. Elizabeth and Arden product. The retinol capsules, and it feels like there's like one little, or two, maybe there's two little capsules in there that's got the retinol product in it. A Living Proof 5-in-1 Style Treatment. A Lorac tantalizer, Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream, Botanics Facial Oil, Trilogy Rose Hep Cream Cleanser, tell you, I'm, I'm just going on and on and on, isn't it? Sexy Hair Love Oil, <laughs> it's for your hair. <laughs> um, Viva La Juicy Sorwet, so I don't know what that is, but anyway, Viva La Juicy. Here's the um, little um, Bare Minerals lip gloss that was in there. And then there's a product from, 
Winky Lux. And I'm pretty sure, oh no, this is a highlighter. I thought this was a eyeshadow, but it's a highlighter. But look, look at the little box. Isn't that cute little box? And then the little pink packaging. And there's the Winky Lux highlighter. I mean, that's a pretty good size sample for a highlighter. Oh, that's like that iridescent. It's got a lot of purple and pink shift to it. A lot of pink. But that's that. And then there was also in here a cargo um, bronzer, deluxe size sample of it. The Swimmables Water Resistant Bronzer. So that was that was all in there, and that was if you spent thirty-five dollars. The men's thingy was if you spent thirty-five dollars too. Now this one you had to you spent sixty dollars, and my daughter and I we put in an order together for this, and she's she picked out a couple of things. I'm gonna have to give to her when we get done. But first of all, the bag is just so pretty. The bag itself, gorgeous, and in it was a full size nail polish from OPI. I couldn't even think of what it was, but it's a really pretty purple. So that was in there. Then there's the Mar Mario Podesco Glycolic Foam Cleanser. Murad Age Reform Moisturizer. It's a gel moisturizer. Another one of the um, Bon Bon perfume samples. Some Biolage shampoo and conditioner sample. A little travel pack of the Ulta Beauty Wipes, little towelettes, and I'm gonna keep these here on my table. A Too Faced RX Primer, Hangover RX Primer, face primer. A deluxe size sample of Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I mean, it's a pretty good size sample. A little product from Coserex, and it's the PHA Moisturize Moisture Renewal Power Cream. Another um, shampoo and conditioner set by um, Frederick Rikai. Rikai, is that how you say it? Anyway. There's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, and this one I was really excited about. This is a, from Giorgio Armani, the Sea Passion sample of it. Some Diva Curl um, leave in conditioner. So I have another one of those. An LA Girl highlighter. Nope, blush. And that's a pretty decent sample size. I mean, it's not just, you know, on a card where you get one little swipe off of that. Then we have the Living Proof TBD Multitasking Styler. Another $5 off coupon. It's a $5 off, $15 purchase. So I'm gonna hang on to those. When are, do they expire? When do they expire? Oh, they're good until the till February of 2019, so I can use those on holiday sets. Then there's another product. There's a product here from Pop Sugar, and it's a lip gloss. Pretty decent size sample of it. Here's another little Smashbox lip gloss, I think, and I have one of these that I got at um, the Outlet Mall, so I'm going to put that in a giveaway. Then there's the MAC Cleansing Oil. Derma Blend, not Blend, Derma Blend Setting Powder. A eye treatment mask by Exuviance. I'm telling you, there's a ton of stuff. Dermalogica Multivitamin Power Firm. And there's a Bear Republic SPF 30 face sunscreen, a Tarte Maracuja C Brightener, the Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum, and a little bitty tiny Brow Wiz in there. So, I mean, wow. 
it's a lot of stuff. I mean, if you had to, like this right here at Sephora would cost you 100 points. Yeah. Anyway, so a lot of stuff. I hope you stuck with me. Um, I have a lot. I have another haul that's going to be coming. I also am going to be having a Sephora haul. That one you definitely want to stay tuned for because there's going to be a giveaway in that one. So we want to make sure you watch that. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.